Hey, what's up guys? Boss Act 7 here, and today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to make box staircases in No Limits 2. So let's get started. So first off, go to Preferences, make sure you have these settings. Snap Distance 0.8, Snap Angle 15. This actually doesn't matter for this tutorial, but we're main, we'll just keep it at 15 for now. Um, grid Size 0.8, and good for now. Alright, first step. Add Free Node. Top View. All right, so make sure um, the grid size is 0.8. So this is, this is really important right here. So we're gonna add 11 nodes on each one of these. All right, let's look this up. All right. Now we're going to copy and paste this, define copy, add four more, one, two, three, and four. I like them, let's move them off to the side. Now you may have trouble locating these nodes in game, so a little tip for this is go to top view, go to add footer, and just add a footer where your general location is of the nodes that you're looking for. Go to perspective. And you'll see the footer over here. So that's where I, that's a, an easy way to find where your nodes are. All right. Let's go ahead and delete these. I'm actually going to move this over a little bit. All right, here we go. So go back to front view. We have these four set of 11 nodes here. All right, so we want to move them. We're going to line all four of these up underneath this one right here. So let's get started. One sec. All right, let's grab this one. All right, so here we go. So we should have this five by 11 uh, line here. So we go to add beam, support panel, custom color. All right, we're gonna do the vertical rails. So um, go to custom pipe and do 0.19. Make sure these are zeroed out and then close. We're just, we're just gonna add the vertical pipes. All right, there we go. All right, so next step. Define and copy this entire thing. Okay. Now go to top view. We're going to highlight the whole thing from the top. All right. We're going to unclick these ones. And then drop down one. Now for the next one, un unhighlight. Highlight the next ones. Drop down one. The next ones. Drop down one. And keep going. Just doing this. Alright, let's do the next one. Alright, we're going to line these two up right next to each other. So, front view. Alright. Now let's make sure these on top are only four across. So we're gonna count four squares. One, two, three, four. We should go up one more, just like that. All right. So let's add two more of these. One, two. Highlight the whole thing. Let's make sure these are lined up. All right, we're good. And by the way, the first way I did this, you could have done it this way too. So. We're gonna highlight both of them at the same time. Make sure you don't click more than what we need. Drop one, highlight again. Drop one, highlight again. And just keep doing this. All right, there we go. So let's line these two up. Highlight the whole thing. 
We're gonna space them out one from this one. So one like that. And make sure they're parallel this way. Let's go to front view. Let's drop it down to line up with these. These two need to line up. So just like that. Go back to perspective. And we should have this stairwell kind of look. Alright, so next step. Go to top view. Add to find pace. We should still have this wall or uh, line here that we copied earlier. Should still be the same. Let's go to top view. Rotate it. 90 degrees. Line this up with these. And move four spaces out. So one, two, three, and four. It's going to be one extra, so just delete one at the end that doesn't line up. So these should line up perfectly with these. Alright, let's highlight this, make sure it's lined up from the front view. There we go. Alright. Let's copy and paste this piece now. Define copy, add define paste. Go down to this bottom end, same thing. One, two, three, four, front view. And line this one up, just like that. All right, we're gonna add the fine paste again. Rotate it 90 degrees. Grab three nodes and drag them into this little slot right here between this rail and this rail. Go to front view and page up or page down, whatever you need to get it lined up. Grab another three. Drag it over this way, same thing, front view, line those up, highlight these three, define copy, add define paste, line these up over here on this side, front view, and line them up, just like that. Now we can delete the rest of these, we don't need them. Make sure these are all gone. Alright, we're good. Alright, now let's continue with the stairs. So, we're going to go to support panel. Um, make sure the width is on 0.8, height 0.2. Make sure rotation angle is at 0. Horizontal beam, 0 and 0. And this is a custom box beam. Alright, now let's go ahead and start adding the stairs. Alright, let's go ahead and test that out for now. Alright, that's looking good. Alright, go back to supports, add beam. Now, for the, once you get to this one, make sure you don't stop here. So make sure you cross these two nodes and go all the way across to here. You'll see why that's important later. Alright, so, uh, yeah, connecting right there. Do the same ones for these ones. Or the same thing for these ones. All the way across. All right, now let's continue with the stairs. All right, so once you get down here, make sure you leave this one empty, because you'll see why later when we cop use the copy and paste. So leave this one empty for now. Skip it and go to this one and go all the way across again. Again, and one more time. All right, now make sure you have all the stairs filled in. Let me freeze it and test it. All right, that's looking good. All right, so now what we want to do now is click on this one right here. So we're gonna do the same thing for down here, but the one um, on the very end, click on it, go to width and make this 0 0.5, 0 0.15, I mean 1.5. All right, and the same thing for the bottom here. 1.5 and then freeze it. Alright, some reason this got stuck. Hold on. Why is it stuck? All 
Alright, there we go. Um, so, this is what it should look like for right now. Looks good. Alright, let's unfreeze it. Next step, we're going to have the side beams that connect all the staircases together. So we're going to go to supports. Support panel. We're going to make this 0.2. Um, make this 0.7. And it should be good. Yeah, it looks good. Alright. Now, this gets tricky. So you want to make sure you know what you're doing. And really keep organized. So go to add beam. Start at this one right here and drag it all the way down to the bottom here. Go around the edges, around here, all the way down to, this, to the bottom. This is where that comes in, um, dragging this beam right here all the way across because you wanna be able to connect this one to this one otherwise. So let's connect these two and let's connect this one all the way up. All right, now let's freeze it, see what it looks like. All right, that looks good. All right, next step, let's copy and paste the entire thing. Supports, define copy, add define paste. Highlight the whole thing, move it underneath. Make sure it's lined up perfectly. Go to front view and page down till this, this side right here lines up with these ones. There we go. Go back to perspective. All right, now we need to fill in this. So this is why you don't want to uh, add this beam just yet. So go back, add beam, support panel. Put, these value, put this value back so it was 0.8 by 0.2. Yeah, it looks good. So add this beam across, delete this one, and then add this beam all the way across, just like that. I would need to fill in these rails too. So support panel, custom pipe. First one we're gonna do is 0.19, change the color back. Add the top one, and then 0.13. Add these three right here. One, two, and three. All right. Now we need, still need to do the side rails. So let's go back to support panel, custom, custom box beam, point, um, was it point two by point seven? Zero all this out, add this one right here and add the one on the inside here, just like that. Let's freeze it, test it out. All right, that's looking good. We need to add this one right here now. Okay, now let's copy and paste this entire thing. Add another level or two. So define copy. Add define paste. directly above and let's lower it until it lines up there we go and we're gonna do the same thing as we did up here with uh, these ones down here now all we need to do from here is attach it to the coaster now we can add scaffolding and all kinds of structure to support the stairs, but I'll do that in another tutorial. Or you guys can kind of figure that out on your own, but it's really not that hard. Just uh, take these nodes and add beams vertically for all the nodes. And so let's add this uh, scaffolding or stairs to the coaster. By the way, if you're wondering how I got the coaster separated from this, is um, uh, make a new coaster for the, the scenery part. So that's how you can unfreeze it and freeze it without actually unfreezing the entire coaster. So it helps out a lot. You can visualize it without unfreezing the coaster. So let's page up here, line it up. If 
you guys want to see how to do this part of the scaffold or the catwalks, you can see that in my spiral stairs tutorial. So let's go back and attach these. And should go over one, page up one. And let's move this up a little bit here. And over. Turn off snap, line them up. That lined up. Looks, looks like it is. Let's freeze it, test it out. All right, that looks good. Hey, what's up guys? Here's the final product. And uh, I actually added these uh, poles here. It's really easy to add those. Just add footers underneath the end nodes and draw a pole from the footer all the way up to the top underneath these stairs. So, and you can also add uh, cross ties and all kinds of stuff, but that's for later on. Um, so here's just the simple tutorial on how to make a box staircase, nice and easy. Connects perfectly to the catwalk here. You can actually walk down from the catwalk all the way down to the bottom. Um, make sure you delete the end here, uh, so it doesn't uh, stab into the grass or anything like that. So it has to be above the grass just a little bit. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you liked the video, hopefully it helped. And uh, make sure to like, leave a comment if you have any more tutorials you'd like me to do for you guys. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more.